everybody that walks in the door at a, at a round table and sustainable forest meeting is there because they are supportive, advocates, whatever word you want to use, of forest. Forests meet a variety of needs. They meet a variety of wants. There are key needs like water. Uh, we don't have water quality. We don't have flood control if we don't have intact forests. And then there are things that we want. We want good wildlife habitat. We want biodiversity. We want recreation opportunities. The role of the round table is to provide this setting for people to exchange ideas, um, di very different ideas, and to understand people's points of view, um, as well as as a body to advocate for the forests of this nation and their um, continuing stewardship and sustainability. The roundtable is really about bringing the idea of sustainable forests from an international perspective and that we're in partnership with 13 other nations in the temperate hardwood systems. And as a result, we're part of an international dialogue and helping people understand the context of forest in a bigger way. Now, I think about forest at a local level, and I scale up. And a lot of people think of forest at the international level and scale down. And so it provides a way to look at forest from both ends. Many of the folks in the uh, uh, round table are, are professionals. You know, these are the people who take these messages back to their workplace, and they're about meeting those needs and addressing those wants. If we don't hear from a variety of Americans, then, uh, uh, then we're not going to know uh, uh, what's expected of us. We see the forest through our own eyes. So if we're a logger, we'll see the forest largely through the availability of logging in that forest. If we're a fisher person, we'll see it through the availability of going, a going fishing. Uh, that's only human. I think the value of the round table is helping us all hear other perspectives about the forest and other semi-objective ways. I say semi-objective because data is only semi, uh, but relatively objective ways of characterizing how the forest operates, what it yields, how healthy it is, how, what its longevity might be. There's a value to that that can bring people around uh, on neutral ground starting with the data and not starting with um, preconceived ideas or notions that don't have any place in reality aren't very useful. So starting with the data, looking at the data, and, and having a discussion about the data then enables the dialogue to go forward. Given the solidity and quality of the data that have been collected, that provides a very powerful, usable foundation for a better dialogue about the overarching resource. Forest of future forestry is not only bright in the United States, sustainability of the United States culture, our ecosystem, and our economy depend, in large case, I can make the case, on healthy forests. And you and I drink water every day and most of that's coming from forests. People really don't know that they should care about something until they understand how important it is. And forests are kind of an abstract idea. Maybe we're better off to talk about woods and trees than we are forests. The old adage about seeing for the forest for the trees, first you see the forest, then you go into the forest and you see all the trees and you see the grass for grazing and you cross the stream for drinking, but you forget you're in a forest. And I think that the Sustainable Forestry Roundtable, with all of its progeny, could invite other users in so that in fact it was a sustainable forest and all user roundtable. People don't think about forests. If you say, tell me about the forest where you live, well the forest is a big piece of ground. People intuitively think about forest as landscape kinds of things and it's hard for them to engage that kind of an idea. But if I say, or the woods in your backyard. That's a different context. And so we have, to, we have to think about how people themselves think about forest and woods and trees because they're all part of their neighborhoods, but their neighborhoods are constrained by how they think about